Hey guys. Hey there. Welcome to today's video. I hope I don't have lipstick on my teeth. I just got out of the shower, so I'm letting my hair air dry, but I need to get to the grocery store right now so that we can have food for lunch. We go through food so fast. So if you've been watching my videos, you see I talk a lot about eating nutritionally, just buying wholesome, whole foods that come from good sources. But I wanna talk more about the budgeting side of things. Really, I'm just hoping to find some good deals today. <laughs> Whenever things kinda of took a turn for the worse when it came to my health, that's when we really decided to step up our eating plan, our diets, and our grocery bill definitely did grow after that point. But for me and my husband James, it's absolutely worth it for us. Our health is our priority, so we've been cutting back in other areas and spending more on good food. But of course, I still really work hard on saving money when I'm buying groceries. I've been buying a lot of my groceries from Trader Joe's, Target, Natural Grocers, and there can be some good prices there. But today I wanna go to Aldi. I haven't been there in a while. I might go to Aldi and Target or Walmart or something. I'm gonna take you with me as we find some good deals at Aldi. Aldi is always an experience, and I haven't been there in a while, so this will be fun. Gotta have your quarter ready to unlock that cart. Let me just say, that Aldi trip was super successful. You guys, listen to this. I spent $84.74. I got pretty much everything I needed. Like I stocked up on meat. I got like five or six pounds of meat. And some of that was grass-fed beef. So I, I feel like that's a great deal for everything I got. So now I'm at Target. I'm gonna pick up a few more things, then I'll head home. This section of the store right here without fail gets me so distracted. I mean, seriously guys, they have like cute little picnic blankets. I wanna go on a picnic. I just got home. I am exhausted, but I had a good grocery trip. I really stocked up on a lot of stuff, but I do feel like I saved a lot too. So I'm gonna lay everything out and show you what I got. Also, I'm probably going to, at least for the Aldi stuff, going to leave a list of everything I got with the prices too. So that might be helpful for you. First, I'm gonna show you everything I got from Aldi. Starting with produce, I got a pound of spring mix. It was super cheap. And then two of these five ounces of organic baby spinach. Um, I got a ton of meat. They have grass-fed beef there, which is super exciting. I got two pounds of that, um, pound of chicken, and then two pounds of ground turkey, and I get their Never Any brand, which is pretty good for how cheap you're getting it. Then I got some of this turkey kielbasa. The ingredients in there were pretty good. I had a great deal on asparagus. Avocados were super cheap. I got a lot of those. I got this organic Italian seasoning. I love Italian seasoning, and it was only $2. Got some chunky guacamole, white rice, some flour tortillas for James. I don't do those because I'm gluten free. Some chicken fried rice for James. Some bananas, cheese for James, milk for James. Then some of these hash browns for James. All of this stuff right here basically is for James. Tortellini for him as well. Then I got some organic ketchup. This is really, really cheap, like $2. No high fructose corn syrup, super awesome. And some Parmesan. Oh, and mushrooms. I think I forgot that one. <laughs> now here's everything I got from Target. I'll start over here. I got some more bananas. Lots of frozen veggies. We love these 
stir fry blend. James loves rice checks. He eats lots of that. Same with his chips and salsa. We got sour cream, eggs, two dozen cage-free eggs, some white albacore tuna, lots of peanut butter for James, and jelly. Then these are really yummy, these bark thins. We like to have these for dessert. Also, the green and black 70% cacao. Dark chocolate with sea salt is one of my favorite things to have for a dessert. I just got James some body wash. I forgot to show you guys, I got paper towels. These eight big rolls were only $6, and I just looked up on the Target app. It's $12.79 at Target, which is insane. That was a great steal. I just realized these have canola oil in them. I'm so disappointed. Canola oil is gross, don't eat it. Here's my beautiful salad. I have a whole ton of spring mix lettuce stuff, have a can of tuna, and also a little bit of turkey breast in there. Some chopped pecans, half of a little avocado. Oh, I'm gonna add sauerkraut, I completely forgot. I'm gonna add sauerkraut, then I made my own dressing with olive oil, apple cider vinegar, garlic powder, salt, pepper, and mustard. That's what keeps it all together. I'm not feeling very good, which if you're new, that's a common thing. I've got some health struggles. <laughs> But the other night I was reading in the book of James and I they had me memorize James chapter one in the fifth grade. So this is a chapter that I'm pretty familiar with, but I was reading it verse two just, yeah, it's what I need to hear. This is something that maybe some of you need to hear too. But in that verse, it says to consider pure joy whenever you face trials of many kinds, because you know the testing of your faith develops perseverance. And, you know, I just needed to hear that because I am definitely in a bit of a trial right now. But man, James is encouraging us to consider it joy. God is developing you. He's helping you develop perseverance. The next verse, I think it says, let perseverance finish its work so that you may be mature and complete, not lacking anything. And I just needed to hear that. Maybe you need to hear that. God is refining me right now. Um, he's developing me and I can consider I can have joy in this season and right now I'm on the couch all alone I can just be like oh I'm tired and this stinks but I, I don't need to have that perspective I can have joy because of who Jesus is and what he's done for me that is enough and I believe healing's coming but for now God is good I'm quite hungry and I'm heading to church with James soon so I thought I'd cook up some dinner and some chicken. So I've got these chicken tenderloins. I seasoned them with all of these things. Pretty cool. And I'm gonna cook that up over there really quick. Here is my second salad for the day. I've got that spring mix. I cooked up that chicken. I've got a half of a small avocado. I did some slivered almonds in here made my own dressing and then I'm gonna try some of these seasoned kale chips on top just to add some crunch. And one of my subscribers gave me the idea to do that so thanks a bunch, I'm excited to try that. The chicken smells so good. <laughs> I'm about to head to church and then we're meeting with a couple who James is marrying next week. Here's my OOTD jeans booty sweater. And I have skin face while doing it. I just got home from church and I'm FaceTiming my brother. He was just showing me these fancy tricks that they apparently yeah. do now. What all the I'm cool kids savage, do. Like that. Pretty savage. What other slang words should you do do you know? Do you lit say lit in the half? What? Lit in the house? Lit in the half. Lit in a half. Do you say extra? Yeah, yeah my friend made that up and some so, people who are gonna watch this, they're gonna do it and it's gonna trend. How about extra lit? I'm good. Just had a quick snack and now we're going to bed. Thank you for watching this vlog. I'll see you in the next video. If you'd like to see more of this kind of thing, hit the subscribe button and type stuff in the comments if you have thoughts or ideas or anything like that. Okay. <laughs> Bye Felicia's.